Question? Thank you, Mr. Luger. Um, State of the Union this next week. I'm curious to know, you've spoken a lot um, about connecting the accomplishments that the President and House Democrats have helped create for the American people. What are you looking to hear from the President next week as it pertains to the State of the Union? And I know that you're a Brooklyn guy, but I've got to ask a question mm -hmm. about the Bronx. Uh, there was a billion-dollar donation to the Albert Einstein Medical School this week. Uh, what are your thoughts about that as a New Yorker? Uh, what do you think that that's going to do for the community and for the overall health care system? It was a wonderful uh, philanthropic donation to ensure that, you know, the young people of America, regardless of their socioeconomic status, uh, can pursue a medical education and then use that medical education to benefit uh, communities in the Bronx, throughout New York City, and hopefully in underserved communities across the nation. Uh, there's a lot of trial and tribulation and turbulence in American society right now. It's wonderful to have a feel-good story such as the incredibly generous donation uh, that was made to the Albert Einstein School of Medicine. In terms of what our hopes are relative to President Biden's State of the Union address, it, it's my hope and expectation that what we will hear from President Biden uh, will continue to be uh, his vision for what the next several years will look like under President Biden's leadership in terms of building a healthy economy lowering costs, increasing access to affordable housing, keeping our communities safe, and making sure that there's economic opportunity in every single zip code. President Biden has credibility in all of these areas because so much work has been done to date to make life better for the American people, to build uh, an incredible economy in terms of the growth that has taken place from the depths of the COVID-19 pandemic and the economic shutdown to the moment that we are right now, with a recognition that there's still a significant amount of work that needs to be done.